just remember God has given you a spirit of love, of power and a sound mind. Don't be scared of what's going on right now. God will protect you. Happy Easter my beautiful people, it's me Ralph Riley. I'm here today with another video for you. I know it's been a while, uh, it's actually been since last Christmas I've done one, but I, I was injured, I couldn't really bring out any videos for you, but I'm back on it, you know, um, don't want to use that as an excuse. But I just wanted to do a video today to, to speak about a few things. You might be at home in this lockdown, you know, with people unwell in your family, you might have lost your job, not being able to pay your bills or uh, put food on the table for your family. I just want to say one thing, you need to trust in God. And this is the reason I wanted to do this video. God's been speaking to me to do this video. Yeah. This video is not about conspiracy theories whatsoever. But before all this happened, I wasn't enjoying eating meat. Um, there were certain foods I was eating, I was, it just wasn't agreeing with my body. I was smoking, I was drinking a lot. And this was like beginning of, middle of last year maybe. I, something said to me, and I'm sure it was God, Stop smoking, stop drinking, stop eating the crap you're eating. And I did. My son, every day, every time he would see me smoke, he would tell me, Dad, please stop smoking, and he would cry. I would see my own son cry because I was smoking. And it really touched me. And I stopped, I stopped smoking, I stopped drinking. I started eating more healthy. And I've never felt so good for doing so. And I think it was a message from God, especially for the time that we're living in right now. You know, eating certain things like, sea moss, no, drinking certain smoothies, having smoothies every day, um, eating healthy food, foods I've never eaten before, cooking, cooking my own food instead of going to the fast food restaurants and eating, eating from there, every time I would eat from the fast food restaurant I would feel sick, but that's not what this video is about today, that's another video, I've got, I've got videos like that on my Instagram channel, you know, but before this happened, before this, this lockdown happened, I used to say to myself every day, God, I want to be closer to you. I want to be closer to you, God. I used to say it all the time, and I don't know why I was saying it. Something was just playing on my mind. God, I want to be closer to you. God, I want to be closer to you. All of a sudden, the whole world has been locked down. And I don't think I'm the only person that said that prayer. I think there was a lot of you out there that were saying the same prayer that I was saying. God, I need to be closer to you. Much closer. But you never had the time. You was working. Your, your, your job was overtaking and overtaking your life, you didn't have time to spend time with your kids. But now look at the time we're in right now. Your job has told you either, you know, take take time off or they've, 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 you know, taken you away from your job. But now you have time to spend time with your family. I had my son with me for two weeks and I, I, I loved every minute of it. You know what, I actually can't believe it. I just wanna pause for a second. It's been cloudy all day and I decided, I've been contemplating all day to do this video. So I thought, let me just come out and do it. And the sun just come out. I, I can't believe it. But anyway, let's carry on. There's a few things that are on my mind and I just wanted to get them across, you know. I've been praying a lot in the house, you know, because I've, I've, had, I've had time to sit at home and pray, get closer to God. And this is what I was asking for before, for him to speak to me. And I think there's a lot of you struggling in life right now. You don't know what direction your life is going in. Um, you don't know what to do with yourself. You know, you're not, you have no direction. You have no ambition to do anything. And maybe this time that we have right now, this lockdown, this, this time you have alone with you and your family, it's time for you to put your perspective back into your life. You know, get back on the, on the yellow brick road, as they say. Start putting your life in the right direction. Stop worrying about things of the world. You know, sometimes I've had friends, I'm sitting there talking to them about serious problems or serious things, not so much problems, I won't say problems, but serious things. And they'll just be there on their Instagram or their Facebook and they won't be paying one bit of attention to what I'm saying. I think the world is so blinded that they don't see what's right in front of them. The only thing they see right now is their mobile phone. You might be watching this now on a mobile phone, but if, some, if your family's with you, turn it off. Spend time with them, you can watch me later. Since I've been at home, you know, um, the church I grew up in, because I grew up in church, I used to go with my mum. Since I've been in, indoors, they've been doing live streams. and I've been watching the services. And a lot of things have been speaking to me. You know, like a lot of people have been sending silly messages about certain things that are happening right now, which I don't need to know about. You know, the only thing you need to worry about is, is the man up above, yeah? But then it got me thinking about 
me growing up in church, it was hard. Because there was kids out there living their life, worldly kids that were doing their thing and you wanted to try and stay on the right path, but there was prayer pressure from the outside. But what makes it worse is Christians inside the church that made your, your life harder trying to be a Christian child. Not everyone in church is a Christian. Some people are there just for show. But don't let them people that are there for show ruin your walk of God. And that's what I let happen to me. There was people in the church that are ministers right now, ministers. And I used to resent them for the way they treated me in church. They had no proof of anything. People would talk, people that didn't like me. No proof, but then they would um, crucify me for these things that I have not done. I wasn't a perfect kid, far from it. But for people to tell their kids to stay away from me, when I was not showing them you know, any wrong ways to go, it hurt me. And I always resented going back to church for that reason. But I'm here today to tell you, don't let other people, like I said before, don't let other people ruin your walk with God. Because they will get their life right with God. They will be raptured, go to heaven, but then you'll be sitting there with resentment in your heart. Forgive them. I'm, I've learned to forgive these people and that's one reason I think this lockdown was good because I've forgiven them. I've forgiven them in my heart. Christian, speaking to you as well. You're talking about backsliders and people that are not saved coming to church. I want to give you one word of advice. Welcome them with open arms. Stop pushing them away. Your family members, people that you know that used to go to church, I've seen it myself. I've, I've been out on the street and seen people that I used to go to church with. They're still there going. I'll say hi to them. They would look at you up and down to say like, you're a sinner, I'm a Christian. I'm worth more than you. That's not the right attitude to have. You need to start opening your arms to these people and looking after them. Just remember, they're lost as you were before. They're lost in this world, just as you were before. But listen, I'm pleading with you, yeah? Get your life right with God today. Get your life right with God today. He spoke to me about doing this video and this is the reason I think I'm meant to be doing it. In this time of lockdown, if you've been having revelations in your mind or you've been having a lot of deep thoughts, spiritual awakenings, check out my, um, my church's live streams. I'll, I'll put a link in the description down below so you can check out one of the services. I think they do a service on Wednesday at 7.30, uh, 10.30 on a Sunday and I think at 6.30 on a Sunday night and also as well the pastor of the church he's been going through the Bible every day at one o'clock um, reading a chapter of like Hebrews things like this um, just so you can get closer to God you know get a word from God and there's like a little number at the bottom where you can text um, that you've been saved because they're going to ask you to pray you know for God to forgive you forgive you for your sins um, and all you're going to do is just text and someone's going to get in contact with you to, to you know see how your walk is going in this time of, of, of hardship this video was a bit spare of the moment. You know, it's just, just something that's been playing in my mind and I just wanted to get it out there. It might not even make sense to you, but it makes sense to me. And maybe there's one person out there that it might make sense to. So even if this touches one person's heart, I've done my job and that will make me happy. That will make the heavens happy. I'm gonna try and do some more videos um, within this coming week. I'm at home doing nothing anyway, so I might as well. Um, I might do some some videos on cooking, you know, for you to cook healthy. You might do some exercise, as you see, I'm getting a bit fat. Um, don't like it, but you know, got to get in there, get, get, get back in the gym. <laughs> um, but yeah, look, listen, stay positive. I want you to have a blessed week. Go get it. God loves you. Peace.